Even when you feel low, you can still go Even when you feel slow, you can still go Even when there's no hope, you can still go I never answer to no man, I still go Go, 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 go Hey guys, welcome back to Agnes Love Space where we give you nothing but amazing and inspirational videos. Karibuni sana. Yes guys, welcome back. Yeah, and today we are going to talk about what babe. We're talking about healing. Yeah. And how our baby helped us in that process. Yeah. And also we want to encourage couples who've gone through loss. Yeah, so basically to these videos it's it's actually our journey. Yeah. And now our healing journey. Yes. Uh, if you have listened to our previous videos, I'm sure you heard the saying that, um, especially me, mm. uh, some small things will really make me like netwazi, uh, go like tense. Like if if the baby is not feeling well, um, I would really tense up. You know, basically these things are because of the trauma that. Yeah. Most of us, uh, my wife and I have been going through, or we went through, mm. when we lost our first baby. Mm. So even you can remember that uh, in our previous video, I said that that I was so tensed up that that day I would like cause every like every time go and ask the nurse how are they doing. I remember that first night I did not sleep because uh, my baby was having challenges breastfeeding. So it was something that was really triggering. Really yeah? triggering some things mm. you know you you want everything to be good to be yeah. perfect and basically we want us to today today we want to see how our baby has helped us uh, uh, like heal through that mm. though it's not like completely healing mm. uh, we have been you because know, we're still struggling with it it's yeah. something actually that you learn to live with yes but um i would say like our son has really played a significant role eh? to help us cope with our previous loss because number one thing i saw he has our 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 girl's face yeah. anybody who saw our baby our, our our heavenly baby while she was on earth would like agree that our our baby our, our son is is the face the one of another they, they mm, resemble, they resemble each other, other. Mm. yeah mm. so I think that for me, when I see that, when I see our son, uh, I see our girl, and I'm like, I see two in one, in, in a way, and like, um, it's near restoration. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. And I remember for me, when the first few days after we gave birth, I used to cry a lot. I used to cry a lot, not because I am not happy or I'm sad, but because my son reminded me about Riri so much that I used to cry a lot it but for some time after one week or two I was okay completely and I and I was also very humbled by God because of how he does things because God is a God of restoration and his restoration is so sweet because guys I can tell you for free that this our uh, this um journey that we are on it is the most easiest journeys of our of our time when it comes to giving birth and and actually bringing up a baby like i feel like god has helped us so much he has wiped away our tears even when now people see us they they are so excited <laughs> i remember there are people who i met some people at the market and i don't know them but I think they are part of you. They are part of the our family. Our, fa our family and fans, and they told us, "Oh, Dana, hi, how are you? My name is I don't know if if she's Faith or what. Hi, Faith, if you're watching." And then she was like, "I follow your story," and I was like, "Wow!" So people know about us. But no, and now when she met me that day, I was not pregnant anymore. I had given birth, and she was so happy for us. So. Even people now seeing us happy and people being happy for us 
has also been so so good it has it has helped in the healing process right mm. yeah because um there are, there are so many this I, I mean the healing journey when it comes to restoration it can be it can be dif- it can be different i don't know how to say it but i feel like the journey that we've been on has been totally totally what what is the word i'm trying to say healing but i'm also trying to say the way it has been easy the it has been easy so much because it has been smooth it has been smooth Mm. and mimi for me personally i would like to encourage another woman like like me who has gone through loss especially a loss of a child because that is the the loss that i understand that is the loss that i understand there are too many there are so many losses there is loss of a parent loss of, of a sibling loss of a of a mom or something but for me the loss of i'm talking about the loss of a child i will encourage that lady or that husband or wife that couple to try conceiving again to give to try mm-hmm. it again because it is it it plays a big role like we no we no, we no longer sad like we used to be because guys we changed like grief changed us we are we we, we are no longer the couple that we were before loss by the way yeah but then in, in all honesty mm. and when you experience such an uh, a traumatic experience like we did mm. everything changes yes. like your character if you are a patient person you you, you your patient starts running out haraka yes. sana yes. sometimes you will find out that you get angry mm. faster mm. and uh, that would really show that um, when it comes to like uh, how you're living you find yourself that you argue a lot so yeah. many things change you used to argue a lot maybe. actually if if you have if if you notice mm. that uh, most couples who have undergone loss um, most of them tend to not continue their relationship or their marriage or their marriage yes i think if i think there are couples who have actually yeah. stopped being together after yeah, because loss because, of because of loss as in so many things change it brings a different yeah. person in you i would say that um, grief changes you uh, for instance uh, let's say you're a patient person for instance come on mimi sometimes i will uh, now I, i will see like i would tend to lose patience easily or you know get angry easily and uh, when uh, such significant changes uh zina kuza you will find that now uh, you and your spouse you tend to argue more um maybe you know small triggers will like blow up and uh, and you find yourself in 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 bad moods or yeah. or is because i remember we we immediately after loss actually in that december that almost that december is it was it december i can't remember but it was up it was immediately after the last thing that happened yeah. we got into a very serious argument i yeah. remember my husband brought a plate he he broke it like kapasuka <laughs> and uh, that was and i was talking to her, i remember talking to her friends i think our friends and one thing i remember the guy our friend guy said you guys are just from a very traumatic experience so they actually somehow understood the reactions that we were doing when we were arguing because we were arguing seriously like it was very very serious it was extreme so guys i i feel like when you we've gone through loss it is very very important to be intentional in healing mm. and to be intentional in actually working through the grief season and to be patient to cultivate patience because me one thing i did i decided now to be calm and to be to be to to lay back i laid back a lot and actually there are friends who thought that i stopped being the kind of a person that i was before because before i was this bubbly girl ever I was always bubbly. I was always okay. I was always feeling fine. But after the loss, there's as as an aspect of sadness that always kept in my heart. 
always kept it in me that sometimes I could be wake I could wake up okay in high spirits that sometimes I could wake up I don't want anything I don't want to talk to anyone I want they don't want to see anyone or I even choose who to see who not mm. to see actually mo- most of the times you will have I would notice eh? mm. like most of the times you will be so depressed like each and every day each and every time imagine Dep- it, you're it, not happy uh, yes yeah. yes and another thing that I, I would I would ex- uh, tell people is it is very very important to know that most people in this earth are going through their traumas yeah. by the way guys I I worked with a coach shout out to coach <laughs> Joyce Marendez I worked with her recently and mm. she was talking to us about um traumas people go through traumas and it may not be it may not be loss of a child it may not be it, even parenting styles the way you are parented when you are small it can cause traumas when you're growing up so I feel like everybody has traumas that is one thing I came to understand so when every when you're dealing with traumas you have to work through them you have to create an awareness mm. in yourself and in your relationship to work through those issues because for us now we decided to work a hundred percent on our on our grief and one of the ways we worked on that is creating devotions every night because devotions work well for us when at night when you're going to sleep either today is my husband's time to lead today mm. is my time to lead so we have a moment of uh, reading a word and standing on it and sleeping on it and then we pray every single night since i think i don't know it's been going on for almost two years now yeah two years we've been like trying to do that intentionally and it actually helps because mm. uh, before even you start that uh, that that a small people study you'll notice that you get to talk about your day about your frustrations you know mm. it kind of uh, it kind of ignites that lost uh, intimacy yeah that usually is brought up by loss mm. you know mm. uh, or maybe people trying to blame each other or you know what mm. there's so much goes on that that it's really negative and, yeah um, really people study has has really played a significant oh, role yeah. in like helping us to heal yeah and um, another thing that I would say is that also like our baby like mm-hmm. me, to, me, to me he's my therapy like yeah. just looking at him mm. really brings brings joy, joy. yeah mm. even when you're mad or anything like that you mm. just look at him and you're like his restoration exactly yeah. exactly yeah. so our encouragement a lot right now is actually uh, telling the people who've been in that situation to try again to try yeah. conceiving again yeah. when they are ready and when their bodies are ready another thing is to t- to ask them to go through either coaching program or uh, to follow some inspirational content creators because I believe YouTube and Facebook and social media has a lot of information which can be positive and can also uh, help a lot because me I remember I remember from way back we followed my Ma- marriage chronicles they give great great content that mm-hmm. is Mary and Monene and Monene Monene and Gemma on on Facebook and also on they have a YouTube channel so for us following them gives us a lot of information that we need mm. and it's our it's our way of healing it it might not it may not be the same as the way we deal with it might not be the same as another couple the way yeah. they deal with it but it is very important to go through traumas and actually seek help to come out of those traumas yeah also like i would say our best couple has really come in handy you know oh yeah having a a, a best couple that like listens to you mm. understands you you know mm. gets to talk to you you know about certain things yes 
uh, actually shout out to Paul and Doris. I know. Uh, they are our best couple. Oh, and soon yes. I'm hoping we're going to do a video with them. Oh yeah, guys. Are you ready to meet our best couple? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so they've, they've really been amazing people. Yes, yes. And they've helped us a lot. Mm. Checking up on us. Mm. And also I will say our friends. Mm. Uh, I will say their names. Oh, Peter yeah. Karanja <laughs> and, uh, and Mimo. Mimo. Mm. I mean, they, they have been like, they are actually more than friends yeah, right now. Yeah, family. We consider them as our mm. own siblings. Mm. They really come in handy. They are the kind of people like you can get like t- tell them the real yes you know yes how fit anything yes yeah they get to see our bad side they get to, s- to uh, know our good side, our good side mm, you know mm. and they really come in handy for us so exactly i'm like i hope i will advise one or two couples out there mm-hmm. um find either friend mm. or close friends mm. where, where you can like talk everything mm. and be true with them mm. or your best couple or whatever mm. works with you but mm. sometimes talking things out it helps really helps yes yeah. and also i feel like there are couples who are not good at looking for friends or doing mm. but i will ask you in god's name seek god together with your spouse yeah. let god be at the center of your marriage and that way everything is going to flow not just at the center of we go to church on Sunday. That is good. But at the center of every day, there is a devotion and there is a family altar at home. Because that is one of the ways that he who seeks God diligently, their life revo- revolutionizes. Like it changes. It mm. changes in a good way. And you are able to, to live at peace. You are able to live in joy. You are able to, to counter this life because life has so many trials you're able to counter those life trials Mm. very very easily so for us actually that has worked and i don't know i feel like that we could talk and talk and talk and talk about the same thing Mm. (laughs) but i hope that these points have helped another couple out there yeah so number one god Mm -hmm. talks idea yeah number two um, you know when God gives you blesses you with another child, yes. that child also is going to help you a lot. Yeah, yeah true, for true, you to, to 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 like heal. Mm. Another thing is a friend mm. or a best couple or yes. somebody who is very close to you or mm. a, that brother or sister. Mm. Or, you know somebody who you can like talk to them and yes. like. <laughs> yeah, that's a Greek word like. for. For like it is <laughs> we can only a, express it like yeah, yeah. To like everything, talking out, talking, yeah, out yeah, everything. talking your heart out. Yeah, yeah. talking your heart out. Yeah. Another thing I would insist kindly guys, I hope every couple can create a family altar at home. Yes. For us it has worked wonders. So I would mm. encourage other every couple out there mm. to create a family altar at home. Yeah, plus it's a journey. Mm. It's not like uh, we are healed completely. Oh, yeah. You know, it's, it's a journey it's, we are working on. It's a journey on. we are working on. But mm. what I could say right now is that you've already made progressive mm. steps. And that is what is important. Exactly. Yeah. We are better off right now. We are able to... We are able not to... We'll never be the same as we used to be. But in this journey, we are progressing well. Yeah, so guys, it's it's a journey. Mm. It's not a, a one-time thing. It's not a destination. Yeah. Mm. I hope you've learned something. Mm. Uh, today, this video is gonna be short, mm. but I hope that it's going to be impactful. Yeah. To, to anybody, not just going through loss, mm. uh, child loss, parent loss, or anything, but even any trauma traumatic experience. Experience. Mm. Uh. So, guys, that's it from us today. Mm. Yeah, and uh, I think we're gonna end there. Yes. Uh, so guys I don't know baby you have something to add I'll say like this video hit the subscribe yeah. button and please make sure you hit the notification bell so that you're going to be notified every time there's a new video, video yeah so guys also remember that kindness goes a long way and kindness always wins Baraka. bye bye